Me back again. Mm-hmm. Big up to my man here, innit? I don't know if you know who he is, but his name's Paul Bridges. I don't know if that's his government, his Christian name and that, because I'm assuming my man is African, so I doubt that's his his uh, official last name. But anyway, he was in one series, some look like a YouTube series thing that was going on. It was about like some couples therapy, some black couples therapy, young people and that people below the age or between the age of 25 to like 33, 34, 35 period. And yeah, it's black couples and that. And there was a white woman who was a therapist and he was on it and he said some things and that. And, you know, people would just become famous overnight and that, whatever. And I respect to them, innit? So, yeah, certain things he said and that. Obviously, he's probably talking facts and that, whatever. I did see it, but I can't really remember because I didn't watch every single episode of this YouTube series. Innit? But he said one, two things and that. And bam, got a little social media status of it. So, respect to him, innit? So, um, Another thing he used to do as well, he used to, on his Instagram and that, he used to have some kind of like live call-in session, obviously, on his Instagram and that, and people, Gallen will call in and chat to him, innit? But anyway, I believe this is a little quote from Twitter, like, he tweeted this. So it goes, is it fair for a girl to expect her boyfriend to meet financial expectations that her dad hasn't met? Let me just throw this out here, innit? Obviously. Nobody, man and gya, nobody was asked to be born in it. So, if unfortunately, <laughs> you get me, you're born into a poor family, well, that wasn't your choice. You know, Kim Kardashian's children and that, and Jay-Z's children and that, and Leonardo DiCaprio's children, and Robert De Niro just popped out of you and that. They won the lottery. They were fortunate enough to have parents who are rich in it. So, I'm just going to put this out here. No one was asked to be born. So if your daddy's a waste, man, I mean, that's not your fault. Yeah? you got to blame your mum for that. Yeah. But women and their fucking high standards, blah. I know a man who knows a girl who knows a girl. And this particular girl was one of them things that urbaned off. You know, these people that just want to live this lavish lifestyle. and that, You know, like they want to be in the Rolls Royces. Probably have been in Rolls Royces. Them girl, they want to be on yachts and that. Probably been on yachts and that. She had this sort of standard. She was deluded to think that, yeah, my man that I deal with has to be balling, has to be rich and that. And I caught up with a man and he told me, oh, such and such got a boyfriend and I said, oh, what is her man balling and that? And he was like, no, nah, I'm just a regular guy. I mean, he's got like an okay looking car or whatever, isn't it? But other than that, he's just an average Joe and that. And I was thinking to myself, ain't that funny? These girls have these fucking high standards and that. But the guy that they settle down with is just an average Joe. Like, driving a flashy car doesn't make you a rich you, blood. Like, you, people can put that. There's people, there's idiots out here right now paying £700 a month. For a fucking lease car or a finance car or whatever, really, yeah. And when you look at them, when when you actually calculate it, like, rah, my man's roped into a forty-eight month contract, seven hundred pound a month for, for yeah, forty-eight month contract, seven hundred pound a month and that. That's four years and that. Blood, it will come like my man's paying all thirty-two grand and that. Yeah, over the fucking the 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 course of the four years and that. But women in their high standards, ridiculous, blood. It's like these girls want a superstar. They want a man who's a baller. They want a man with social media status and that. But blood, are you from the lineage of that caliber of man? Like, there's chicks out here saying, oh, I need a guy. Oh, my man has to be six foot six. He has to be six. Blood, your dad's fucking five foot seven, five foot five, blood. What are you talking about? Your, your man needs to be six foot six, blood. These chicks want these top tier men, but they're from the lineage of waste men. Your dad is a waste man, blood. How the fuck can you... I'm not saying, listen, aim high. Yeah? And just because you come from a certain background, that's not the be or end or that. But when these chicks have these crazy high standards, that like my man has to be this, 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 and this, blood, just know the seed that you come from. Just know the batch that you come from, blood. The whole of your, your dad, your uncles, all your brothers, they're all waste men and that. So why do you feel like just <laughs> you're surrounded by a waste man, blood? So why do you feel like you're entitled to a guy that's a serious, serious man? Especially if there ain't no top tier girl them. So let me tell you something right now. Yeah, There's all this high value male and allegedly high value woman. And that. 
me tell you something right now. Any girl who claims to be a high value woman and she lives in a dirty house, you are not a high value woman. High value women do not live in filth, bro. I went to a chick's yard before and literally the toilet seat was broken. Well, sorry, the lid for the toilet seat was broken. And I'm walking around the yard and, and I'm looking around and how mash up and broke up the yard was like, you know, even a pendant, you know, the the cord that you put the light bulb in that's connected to the ceiling, that's called a pendant. The the cables were exposed. So you had the little child and that. I'm thinking to myself, like, your house is not even just dirty and messy. Your house is actually dangerous, you know. One of the alarms in the kitchen was hanging down from the ceiling. Bro. That girl, I was just walking around the yard and that, and I was thinking to myself, yeah, this girl could never claim to even think or believe for one second she's a high-value woman. If you live in a dirty house, you are not a high-value woman. Bearing, furthermore, if you live in a dirty house, you are not a high-value person, man or woman. If your house is filthy, if people wouldn't want to come to your house and walk around barefooted, you're not high-value. High-value people do not live in filth. Could you imagine the Queen of England living in filth? No fucking way. No, no one from that lineage could ever dare, would ever dare live in a dirty house and that. So, yeah, man. But these chicks, man, they got some crazy high standards and that. And you got these girls out here making these crazy high demands on a first date. A man needs to take me to Gauchos or Novako or Hakkasan, wherever, innit? Blood, you live in a fucking council house. You are at the bottom of the economic scale. Who the fuck do you think you are that you believe you need to be taken to Gauchos, Hakkasan? Or Novako, all these stupid ass exp salt bays restaurant. And like, who the fuck do you think you are, bro? It's mad. The, 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 the level of delusion is crazy, innit? Like I said, I'm not saying for girls that they shouldn't aim high, innit? But make sure you be high, yeah? Don't be looking down. See, there's chicks out here that'll be walking around looking down on men. <laughs> there's chicks out here that'll be looking down on men, thinking, oh, you're a waste, man. You don't make money. You're a waste, man. You're, you're a low value, man. And I blood, your daddy's a low value, man. What's your dad doing right now, fam? What's your dad doing right now, fam? Yeah? So before you cast judgment on other men, just, just, just look where you come from first. Yeah, I'm not saying that that's your be one end or one that, but blood, there's a lot of people out here looking down on other people and that. And you know what? You know what? You could look down on your dad and that. Yeah? Like, I would rather people look down on their own parents as well, because you can't just go around looking down on other people but make a pass and oh no, nah, it's all right. My mom and my dad can be waste people, waste man and waste girl and that because they're my mom. But everyone else, I'm gonna judge. No, they're also lumped in that. See, I me, mean, I'm a man. I'm very objective and I don't give a fuck if someone's my family or whatever, innit? I can look at someone and think, yeah, you're a failure. I don't give a fuck, blood. Other people, they'll be like, nah, nah, nah. You know what? Everyone else is a failure. These people want a jolt and this is a waste, man, and that. But nah, I let my dad slide. I let my little brother slide. Nah, fam. Nah, 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 nah. So, yeah, man, these chicks, the level of delusion is crazy. How the hell are you trying to demand a man that is a super high caliber of man? And you're not even around this sort of... Man, like, you know, like, if you truly, if you truly were a high caliber woman, you'd be living next to high caliber people. You'd be in a house with high caliber people. You're, yeah, do you know what I'm saying, innit? Like, you would have a lot of men to pick from who are high caliber because you're in a high caliber workplace and that. How the fuck are you just working some any old idiot admin job for Harringale Hackney Council and claiming you're a high caliber, high value woman? Literally, girls is working some idiot job. They ain't got no education and that. And even if they have got education, they ain't ambitious enough to get... Um, a job that pays a lot of money so that they're around high caliber men, but then they want to date high caliber men. Fuck, man. Anyway, man, that's it for today. Stay wise. Done.